Well, it's raining out. So which car should I take? Lancia Delta Integrale? Nah. The old Prius? No. Buick Riata Convertible? No. BMW Alpina B7? No. Porsche 928? No. Lotus Esprit? No. Shelby Dakota pickup truck, that's also a convertible. No. You can Google drive and Ivan in any of these cars. But what we are going to take today is right here. Yes, sir. What is it? Well, yes, indeed. The clear choice is also a Porsche 911, but Carrera 4, all wheel drive. Could this be the perfect sports car for the sun because it's a cabriolet, for the rain because it's all-wheel drive, and for all conditions because it's a Porsche 911 and uh, it's got two rear seats if you need them, extra storage back there. This one, six-speed manual, 2000. Let's go take it for a spin and decide if it's the perfect sports car. Well, I think I'm uniquely qualified to sing the praises of this Porsche 911 Carrera 4 Cabriolet. I've driven many different Porsche 911s. When I was buying it, I drove a Tiptronic, I drove rear-wheel drive, I drove the all-wheel drive, I drove coupes, I drove the Carrera 4S, and I've also driven the new 911s on the track, 991, not 992. But um, I own an 82 Targa, I also own a Boxster, and that Porsche 928 as well. So, having driven everything from the 356, to an early 911E Cristal Blue. Check out those reviews elsewhere on YouTube. I think I am uniquely qualified to tell you that this Porsche 911 Carrera 4, I think, is the perfect all-around sports car. Now, a lot of people poo-poo the all-wheel drive nature of a 911 and even cabriolet as well because uh, everybody's like, oh, I want it to be as stiff as possible. The sunroof coupe, that's what you want. <laughs> How many people are actually going out there and tracking their 911s? I've tracked this one. It was fun. You know what? Took it to the track, drove it hard, and uh, took it home and uh, stopped, took a friend out to dinner with the top down beautiful day. By the way, it was uh, 95 degrees that day and uh, never overheated, performed flawlessly on the track, huge amounts of grip from the Carrera 4. Let me show you. Yes, with the uh, all-wheel drive system in this Porsche 911, of course Porsche has thought about this bias towards the rear and uh, of course it can send power forward when it needs to and things like that but you don't lose very much of the pure real wheel drive feeling in this Carrera 4. It's just so good and the extra grip is just incredible. You know that you just brake, turn in and mash the throttle even on a day like today when it's just been pouring rain. The grip is just incredible. Now, in general, yeah, the steering feel still very good, but not what it is in my 82 Targa or that 71 911E. But, you know, progress is progress. The 996 might not look quite as good as the 993 or the Carrera or the 911 SC or the earlier models. But to me, this one is my fun daily driver, and I really, really enjoy it. 
I think it's just a phenomenal car. I've driven so many Porsche 911s and this is the one I want. I recently picked up the Boxster as a Tiptronic on purpose because to me the Tiptronic offers a very relaxed nature of driving and like I said this one is a six-speed manual and also my 911 SC plus I have so many manual cars and uh, these days well these transmissions shift better than you can so I don't know if you're a manual snob uh, you know I can be on the right car but um, makes no difference with this one sometimes I buy a car because of the deal this one actually was an incredible deal but it was exactly what I wanted I love the look of this 911 to me with the wheels and the blue on the gray it's just incredible I would have preferred to have the white gauges but uh, I have white gauges and white leather seats in my 82 Targa customize that exactly the way I wanted it so this one really is very special to me. I really, really love it. I was tempted to get a Tiptronic actually because uh, I enjoyed the Tiptronic and uh, as a daily driver, Tiptronic all-wheel drive cabriolet might be perfect, but I have the Boxster now, which is a Tiptronic, so I just love this car. Every time I think about you know, swapping it for this or that, even a 997, you know, with what I paid for this, I basically called bottom of the market. You can look back when I posted those videos. And uh, I got it for considerably less than what is market value for these now. And so it's just so much car. Even at what they're selling for right now, I would say right about $20,000 depending on mileage and, and options and things like that. Uh, it's a heck of a lot of car and it's a great 911 for your first 911, even though it was my second. It's just, if you're looking for a 911, get a 996. The only thing I'll say is, if you want to have cup holders and a glove box, and you don't mind paying a little bit extra, get a 996.2. But having driven the newer 997 and the 991, you know, they, the 997 is probably the sweet spot, I would say. If you can afford a 997, that's the one. But to me, with the all-wheel drive, it's incredible. I reviewed a 997, uh, both a Targa and uh, also a Cabriolet, so check out those reviews. But um, that one, like I said, the 997, it's got a very nice interior, heated and cooled seats and things like that, a little more modern. But if you modernize the stereo system, if you want, in the 996, it's a lot cheaper than the 997. So, four rainy days, and just for the added grip also, the Carrera 4, I think, especially if you happen to live in a climate where it rains and snows occasionally, it's an absolute no-brainer. I love my Porsche 996 Carrera 4 Cabriolet, and uh, it's just an incredible, perfect car to me. So, there you have it. Please check out everything I own, all those are the cars I mentioned. Um, I've got a lot of cars. I just bought a Volkswagen pickup truck and uh, like I said, just Google Drive and Ivan in any car and you'll find it. Check out my disc golf videos, music videos, Free Your Mind music video, which has a lot of my car collection in it. And also it has um, my guitar collection as well. Got a lot of guitars too. But um, of course, like, subscribe, comment, share, please get the word out. A lot of people say I have the best car reviews on YouTube. Please share them with your friends. And uh, thanks again for watching. I'm driving Ivan. Just listen to that sound behind me. It's just so nice having that engine back there. 911 is awesome.